So yesterday, Easter evening, a person dressed in a bunny costume jumped into the middle of a fight in downtown Orlando and threw some punches, only in Florida. So is the Easter Bunny guilty of a crime? Let's take a look. This is Orlando attorney Jeremy Hogan and welcome to Legal Briefs. Without further ado, let's get right into the Orlando Easter Bunny Fight Club action. So right away, the video clip shows a fight in progress before the bunny even gets involved. What you're gonna see is that the woman has the upper hand and that's very important. The man is on the back, she has him by his hair and she's throwing punches before the bunny even comes into the picture. Now from about five seconds into the video clip until about 25 seconds into the video clip is when the bunny is gonna have some legal problems. You see, even though the woman has the upper hand, the bunny jumps in and starts throwing punches. And to his credit, when the police show up, he stops. But you can even see after he stops that the woman throws one last punch at him, even when the police are there. So it's obvious that the woman is the aggressor and the bunny jumped in to help the aggressor. So Florida law on the use of force to defend another is found in Florida statute 776.012, which is also known as the Stand Your Ground law, made famous in the Trayvon Martin case. Stand Your Ground law says that you may use non-deadly force to protect another from the use of imminent unlawful force against them. In other words, the Easter Bunny could have jumped in to protect a woman who was getting beaten up unlawfully by a man, but couldn't jump in to protect a woman who was beating up the man. The problem the Easter Bunny is going to have is that the video clearly shows that the woman was the aggressor and had the upper hand, and therefore the Stand Your Law defense does not come into play. So unless there's something that the video doesn't show that happened before the Easter Bunny got involved, Stand Your Ground Law does not apply, and I'm sorry Easter Bunny, you might have just committed a battery. So at this point in the video clip, I'd like to give props to the Easter Bunny for his post-fight moves and the bro handshake but he's probably not helping his legal defense team right now if he's ever charged. So the moral of the story, if you are the Easter Bunny, do not get egged into a fight. 